Today we're going to do what might be one of the most important things you ever do in your life, and that is creating a Monero wallet. Now Monero is the only cryptocurrency that really matters. It's the only one that's actually cryptic and actually usable as a cur currency. Sorry, Bitcoin and everyone else. Um, so I always recommend people to get started in Monero. Now I'm not going to show you anything fancy about how to, you know, put your life savings into it because you know I'm not I'm not doing financial advice, but I just want to show you how to start a wallet. And I will say this: if you don't, if you have no intention of putting money in this, okay, I, I totally understand that. But uh, I recommend everyone to create a wallet and put it on your website. This is, you know, really one of the only cryptocurrencies that's actually used on the internet as a currency. Uh, so I highly recommend people put a wallet out there, J put it on your website, put it on your, you know, social media links or something like that. Because uh, if you if you just receive donations, if you just receive gradual tips, that's just a nice nice thing to have. Okay, even if you just set it and forget it, look at it years later, or you realize you've gotten a little bit of tips and stuff like that. I recommend people start a good website, have good content, and hey, start a Monero wallet with it. It's a good way of monetizing in a non shill way. So. Uh, let's get started. GetMonero.org is Monero's official website, uh, and you can click on the Downloads tab, and that will show you all the different wallets you can use. Now, there are two main ones. There's the command line wallet. We're not going to use this in this video. This is actually what I use in my, you know, in my real life, I guess. Um, but the Monero graphical user interface wallet is what we're going to use. So you can download it. If you're a Windows user, Mac user, you can download it here. If you're a Linux user, I mean, you could you could download it here, but it's in most package repositories in Linux. So I'm on Artix Linux, and I can actually search Monero and see that, oh, there are these two packages. I actually have them both installed already. This is the you know basic package that comes with the command line interface. This is the graphical user interface package, okay? So anyway, on Windows or whatever, you know how to install this kind of stuff. Download it, run it, you know, whatever. Um, now to run the program, you uh, in Linux at least, it's Monero Wallet GUI. Um, it might appear as something else in uh, different, uh, you know, uh, operating systems or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now, I will also say this, if you're on Windows or Mac OS and you're paranoid because you're using a spyware operating system, you might, you don't have to, but you might want to disable your internet as you create a wallet. Uh, you do not need an internet connection to create a wallet whatsoever. Uh, you're not like creating, creating an account somewhere. You're really just generating the mnemonic seed, you're generating the randomness required for you to store money on the blockchain. That's all you're doing. So you don't need an internet connection. But anyway, we're going to start this thing off. It says, do you want to register a Monero GUI wallet uh, entry? And I'm going to say, yeah, why not? It doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, it doesn't for me. It might for you. You can just say yes. So continue here. Now, there are technically, uh, we're just going to use simple mode for this video. We're just going to do it the easy way. But I will say, if you want to do it the right way, um, that doesn't compromise your IP address. It's no big deal if you compromise your IP address and other things like this. Uh, you're not losing your money, but if you want to do it the purest way, you really want to use the advanced mode or simple mode where you download the entire Monero blockchain to your computer. Now, this is, is going to be huge. It's going to be like 30, 40 gigabytes, even the pruned variety, but we're just going to do the simple mode because, you know, that's all we need. Uh, and here's a little thing saying, do you understand that you're using the simple mode? Oh, they could look at your IP or, or your restore height and stuff like that. Not a big deal for us. We're going to say, okay. Um, all right. So now we're going to say create wallet. And this is going to actually generate our wallet. And here it is. Okay. Now, how, if you don't know anything about cryptocurrency, I'll briefly explain this. Now you have a couple things here. You can name the wallet, whatever you want and say wallet doesn't matter. Uh, you can store it wherever you want. doesn't really matter. Uh, although you might want to make it, I don't know. I'm going to change it to a, um, hidden directory, but you don't have to do anything at all like that. Uh, anyway, so this is the important thing, the mnemonic seed. Okay. Uh, basically when you generate a wallet, your computer generates, or th this program generates 25 random words totally random. Don't pick your own words. They generate perfectly random words um, that can be used to generate, to basically access the parts of the blockchain where your money is stored. Okay. That I guess is a, a sort of a contorted way of looking at it, but just know that these 25 words are now your money. Okay. Don't show them to anyone. Uh, store them. Don't even store them on a computer. Write them down on a piece of paper and put them somewhere where they're not going to get lost. You might want to write it down on multiple sheets of paper and put them in places where they're not going to decay. Okay. 
Uh, and if you do store this on a computer, which I don't recommend, definitely don't store it on Gmail, don't store it on freaking uh, Dropbox, don't store it in an unencrypted file in your computer, only store it on your computer if you really know what you're doing, you know how to encrypt files, and I don't know, even that, just put it in real life, don't, don't even have it, don't even, I wouldn't even copy it to your clipboard if you want to be really paranoid, but anyway, uh, and of course, since you are seeing these 25 words that I've generated here, uh, obviously this wallet that I'm using is unusable because you, you now have the access to any money that I put into this wallet. Okay. Anyway, the other thing you need to know, uh, so anyway, this is just never show it to anyone. If anyone asks, don't trust them. Okay. If, if anyone asks for this word, uh, these, uh, words. Um, and lastly, there's the wallet restore height. You might want to write this down as well. It's just nice as information. Um, it basically makes it so it's quicker to, if you add this wallet to another computer, um, this is basically when your wallet was started. So it knows not to look for transactions before that period. Okay. That that's sort of what that is. All right. So anyway, next, uh, it's going to ask for a password. I'm just going to say pass. This is only to encrypt that seed and your wallet on this particular computer. It's not like encrypting it in the blockchain. It's only on this computer. And this password is only going to be like, if you, if you have this wallet on another computer, you could pick another password, right? So anyway, but just pick a password. Uh, and I'm going to say create wallet. Okay. Uh, oh, it's going to ask for that password apparently. All right. So here's the deal. Um, it's going to, uh, we're not going to deal with connecting a node or syncing the account or anything. I'm just going to give you the bare minimum of if you want to, uh, receive money with Monero. Okay. Uh, you are going to want to go to the receive tab, of course. Now this thing here, you can click on it and it will copy it. Okay. We'll copy that to the clipboard and it, let's say I paste that. Let's say I want to see what's in there. Um, that is actually a huge string of, uh, text. I mean, you know, letters and numbers and stuff like this. This is your public Monero address. Okay. So this is where anyone who has this, uh, you know, here's the deal on your website. Just put this thing up, say, this is my Monero donation address and people can donate to you. Okay. If someone likes what you put on your website, they can donate a little money to you. All right. That's all it is. This QR code here is a QR code that generate, like if you scan it, it will give you this donation address. Okay. Uh, and I will note, uh, they have spaces in between things here. You don't need spaces. Don't use spaces. You know, the way they copy it where it's just, you know, one big, huge, long string of like 90 something characters. That's enough. Right. Um, so yeah, go ahead and save this image. Let, let's save it as Monero.png. So you can put this on your website. You can put your primary address on your website and you can now receive donations. Right. Um, additionally, you can create new addresses and these are all going to be tied into that same seed phrase. So let's say I want an alternative address. And there are multiple reasons you might want alternative addresses. Uh, let's say you want to, you know, maybe you have multiple websites and you want to have a different donation address on each one. Uh, you can, you, you know, basically have a different one. So you can tell uh, who is donating for what when you receive a transaction. It'll say if it's for this one or if it's for that one. Okay, so that's one reason you might want to do it. Or, you know, if you put your own, if you put this first one out as a donation address in the public, um, everyone's going to know that that address is tied to you. So suppose you want to use Monero anonymously, uh, you know, you're transacting with someone, uh, you know, on a random form and you want them to, uh, give you, you know, you, you do something for money or something like that. You might not want to use the address that everyone knows that's yours. You might want to generate a new address. So we'll say, oh, well, anonymous. Okay. Right. So, and in fact, if you want to be super secure, aside from any public donation address, you might actually want to generate a new address for each transaction, right? That, that would be a very secure way of doing it. But Monero is not like Bitcoin in that even, I mean, only the people are going to see your addresses. It's not like Bitcoin where people can see how much money you have or who you're transacting with. They can't see that. They only know, oh, well, this is the address I sent money to. That's all they know. So anyway, that's actually about, about uh, it though. Um, this is all you need. You have a donation address. If you have your seed phrase, uh, you can recover all your money from anywhere else uh, later on. You can get a, the, uh, uh, you know, some other application that runs Monero and you can put in your seed phrase. So long as it's trusted, you can put in your seed phrase and get your money elsewhere. But I recommend everyone who's followed my videos on creating your own website, go right now and put up a donation address in Monero. Uh, it's not going to cost you anything and you might actually make, if someone likes your stuff and you get donations, you get donations, right? So anyway, that's it. And I will see you guys next time.